here in the i button and in the description box below you will get the complete playlist of z transform welcome to video number 6 and in this video we are going to solve a very 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 important problem on the topic that is z transform so the problem is find the z transform of cos n pi by 2 plus pi by 4 okay i am repeating this that this problem is very 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 important so we need to find the z transform of cos n pi by 2 plus pi by 4 first of all we need to know the formula for cos a plus b so cos a plus b is equals to cos a into cos b minus sin a into sin b this is the formula for cos a plus b now z transform of cos n pi by 2 plus pi by 4 Here, if you compare this with this, what is a? That is n pi by 2 and what is b? That is pi by 4. So, this is going to be z transform of cos n pi by 2 into cos pi by 4 minus sin n pi by 2 into sin pi by 4. Now we know that is cos pi by 4 and sin pi by 4 value is 1 by root 2. Okay. So and the value that is 1 upon root 2 is constant value. So we can take in both the terms that is 1 upon root 2. And here we have z transform of cos n pi by 2 minus z transform of here we have sin n pi by 2 now we must remember the formula for z transform of cos n theta and z transform of sin n theta let's see the formula that is z transform of sin n theta this equals to z into sin theta upon there is something in the denominator part z transform of cos n theta equals to z into z minus cos theta upon there is something in the denominator part now what is the denominator part both the denominator part are same that is z is square minus 2z into cos theta plus 1 again writing the same denominator part here that is z is square minus 2 z cos theta plus 1 this is the formula that we need to remember okay so this is going to be how much 1 upon root 2 this is z transform z transform of cos n pi by 2 if we compare this with this we can see that is theta equals to pi by 2 so this is going to be z minus sorry z into z into z minus cos what is theta that is pi by 2 okay upon z is square minus 2z cos pi by 2 plus 1 okay minus coming to the second part that is z transform of sin n pi by 2 the formula is this and the theta value is pi by 2 so we can rewrite this as how much that is z into sin pi by 2 upon z square minus 2 z into cos theta what is theta that is pi by 2 pi by 2 plus 1 okay now we know that is cos pi by 2 value is how much cos 90 is 0 so this is going to be 0 this is going to be 0 this is going to be 0 and what is sin pi by 2 that is 1 cos pi by 2 is 0 sin pi by 2 is 1 so this is going to be 1 now let's proceed here we have 1 upon root 2 z into z that, that is z is square okay this is 0 minus 
here we have z into 1 that is z upon in the denominator part we have z square this part becomes 0 that is 2 minus 2 into z into cos pi by 2 that is 0 so this middle term is going to be vanished here we have 1 okay here you can see because the denominator part is same so we can say that it is in the denominator we have z square plus 1 so again we can take that is z common from this that is 1 upon root 2 z into z minus 1 upon z square plus 1 so this is going to be the final answer so we can say that is the z transform of cos n pi by 2 plus pi by 4 that is we can say hence the z transform of cos n pi by 2 plus pi by 4 is equals to how much 1 upon root 2 z into z minus 1 upon z square plus 1 and this is the answer okay so what you need to remember is you must remember the formula for z transform of cos n theta and sin n theta these two values the formula is very 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 important you need to remember that the denominator part is same in both the case and you also need to know what is the formula for cos a plus b and simultaneously you should also know that what is the formula for cos a minus b i would request you to write in the comment section what is the formula for cos a minus b what is cos a plus b that is cos a cos b minus sin a sin b what is the formula for cos a minus b you need to write in the description box so that i can see whether you know it or not in the previous in the previous video we have the formula we have already used the formula that is sin a plus b and sin a minus b so i hope you have learned a lot from this video thank you thank you so much for watching this video thank you